I got into this very seriously 22 years ago. And, um, but before that, I was very sick. And I, the way I like to put it is, any ailment that be, could befall the, the typical female, I was contending with. And it was awful. And I actually wanted to leave this world. I didn't know why anyone thought it was a good thing, why life was a good thing, because I just wanted it out. On paper, I had everything. I ticked all the boxes. I'd gone to all the right schools. I was, you know, like everything I was, was just as it should have been. But why was I so miserable to the point of actually wanting to leave this life. Um, mm -hmm. But I didn't know that until um, I actually, uh, against doctor's orders, <laughs> went to uh, went for my first colonic and with Gil his clinic. I miss and, him. Oh, he's the best. Um, so, so basically, um, having gone ahead with my session, I found a therapist, one of Gil's clinicians back in those days. Um, my mind was completely blown. And the sensation I had afterward of even from that one session, the openness, the clarity, the degree to which that opened me up, um, I was forever changed. And I, my life, my life would, I never, I didn't know to what extent, but my life would never be the same after that session, after that day, 22 years ago. So um, within a few short weeks, you know, maybe maximum six to eight weeks, my whole physicality shifted dramatically. So I always carried extra weight, mostly in my thigh. Um, you know, had terrible body loathing. I had so much cellulite to the point where I remember being in a Benetton dressing room when I was about 18 at, at NYU. And I just broke down in tears. I couldn't believe the quantity of cellulite staring back at me from that dressing room mirror. And I was so devastated. I thought, How am I going to live my whole life? Like hating my body and feeling this way, not to, to wear things or feel good in, in my body and myself. And um, obviously we want to be able to feel good in our body, no matter what the size or what the shape or how much cellular or whatever. But there's, you know, there's going to create problems unnatural. And that is the accumulation of waste over the mm. years. So time in those 18 years, I took enough rubbish that didn't leave my body that created that. So, you know, I, yes, of course, embrace your no matter what, love yourself, no matter what, love yourself. I mean, I remember my mother um, said to me once, because I used to get really upset about my body, like super, super upset. And, I, mm -hmm. and, and I, I was complaining about my cellulite, my heavy legs, which I felt like were tree trunks. And she said to me, Natalia, just be grateful you have legs. So at that point, that, that landed on me. Like, you know what? That is a really good point, you know? So mm -hmm. I, you know, I tried to take that to heart um, in various ways. But, um, but the point is, given the fact that we need okay with our bodies regardless there are things that don't need to be holding us down holding us back and keeping us apart. so let's do what we can to remove that obstruction those barriers to our fullest expression of the divine our fullest reflection of the divine so to get back to your question um the transformation was was dramatic and that was the first couple of months and then with every passing month there was a, a greater and greater upgrade it's potential so, you know, I'm in this, I'm in a being now, I'll be 47, that is so much stronger, has so, such greater integrity, particularly, um, neurologically, in every way, so, you know, it, is, it operates far better than it did when I was in my, teens, when I was in my teens, mm -hmm. when I was suffering from symptoms, which were, I mean, just, just to give you the, the, the laundry list of them, a hand um, acne, I mentioned the cellulite, uh, extra weight, chronic headaches, chronic bladder infections, chronic bronchitis, um, ge general malaise and um, anxiety. And you know, I, I didn't have as much to give. Now I have everything to give. But then, you know, whether whether oh, brain fog, I had terrible brain fog, um, just just so many, you don't realize how, the the low grade that you're living on until the upgrade comes about and they're like, Oh wow. That's the, that's the, uh, the shift. That's the, oh. uh, that's the difference. 